This is uh, Colonel Mamade Dumbuya, and this is a photo of, of him. Did we train and equip him? By name, I, I cannot identify that. Well, that's him with a bunch of U.S. service members outside of our embassy. And just months after this photo was taken in 2021, he led a coup in Guinea and, and threw out the, the leader. Does that concern you? Congressman, core values is what we start off with in IMA pr programs. Do we, we share core values with Colonel Dembuya? Core values. I will repeat that. He led a coup. We do. So I guess my, uh, I guess four months after that exchange, General Langley, you had General Musa Bamu overthrow the government in Niger. And it won't surprise anybody here that we trained him. The person who overthrew the democratically elected government in Niger went to the National Defense University, trained at Fort Benning, Georgia. So do we share core values with Musa Bamu? Congressman, let me just go ahead and state that uh, core values is what we start off with. But there is no syllabus for overthrowing a go government, not in our institutions. Well, so they're learning it pretty well, even in the absence of a syllabus, right? Because if you look at Chad, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, in a lot of these countries, the coup is led by someone we trained. Now, I put in the National Defense Authorization Act a requirement for you to issue us a report as to how many coup leaders our taxpayers have funded the training for. That report is due tomorrow. Will we be getting it on time? I'll do a follow-up on that, Congressman. Well, I mean, this, this yeah. was the follow-up, right? Because first I asked you in that clip, how many coup leaders did we train? You didn't know. And so then I put it in the law for you to tell me. The law requires you to tell me by tomorrow. So can you give us a preview of coming attractions? Uh, you get that. You'll get your answer, uh, Congressman. Just but, but, but let me say, let me say, there's no correlation and there's no causation of U.S. training to these members. Well, that's what I'm trying to find out, because in like a dozen countries, the coup leaders are people we trained. Like, what a difference a year makes. March 16th, 2023, Secretary Blinken calls Niger, quote, a model of resilience, a model of democracy, a model of cooperation. One year and one day later, Dr. Wallander, the spokesperson of the Nigeri military, Colonel Amadou Amabrame, says, quote, the American presence in the territory of the Republic of Niger is illegal. A, a year and a day after our government said they were the model of resilience and democracy, they are throwing us out by the scruffs of our neck. And so is it safe to say that this failed, General Langley? It's safe to say that there's no correlation or causation of U.S. training to a coup happening, well, uh, period. It certainly isn't. There's no causation or correlation to the training we do creating more stability. I'm trying to ascertain whether or not all this money we spend in Africa makes the place less stable or more stable. And just for a country lawyer like me, if we're funding the coup leaders, that probably strikes me as making it less stable. Now, are you aware of the Iranian efforts to now mine in Niger? General Langley? Congressman, we could talk about it in a classified section on that. Well, I mean, Fox News is reporting it. They're saying that Iran is working on, on economic arrangements to get uranium from Niger. So, well, in a classified session, we would talk uh, real intel. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, we've spent more than $500 million in the country. What can you say we've got for that $500 million as we sit here today? If it's like being turned into an Iranian mine, the Russians are the preferred security partner, and, and we're training the coup leaders. There was a, a buy down on uh, an insurance policy for protecting uh, the homeland. I don't think we're doing that, though. I, I don't think there's, that, there's that, evidence to suggest that. That's like, your opinion. You, you went to Niger. I respect, okay. I respect your opinion. Okay, but I General Langley, not. you went to Niger, and, and, and you went to have a meeting with the people we trained who overthrew the democratically elected government, and Fox News is reporting that you didn't even get a meeting with the principal decision maker. Is that right? I had a meeting with my counterpart. Well, uh, here's the quote. Sources say last week's meeting with the junta was extremely difficult. The administration's envoys did not get to meet with Niger's principal decision maker. Is that a true statement or is that a false statement? 
my responsibility is to meet with my counterpart. Not, not, not. I would not, just not hope that if we have two leaders, Gentlemen's we could at least book a meeting. You know, since it's the model of democracy. Gentlemen's time's expired. Chair, I recognize a gentlelady from Pennsylvania, Ms. Hulek.